Hello and welcome to the second tutorial for EdPy. In this video we are going to be talking about the basics of text-based programming. So EdPy is a variation of Python which is a text-based program and in the basic sense a text-based program is any programming language that is written out with text and runs from the first line to the last line of the piece of code. Now there are some exceptions to this but we'll talk about those in a later video. Now, we're going to quickly talk about this little setup section up the top here. Any line that you see that has a little hash or any line that you write that starts with a hash is a comment line of code and is going to be ignored by the compiler. So this is just a kind of little note that you can use to inform people about how your program is working or to leave little hints on exactly what your program is doing. The next line down here is import ed. Now this imports the Edison library into Python so that we can then use it to control all of Edison's actions. So as you see, all of our important things down here start with ed dot. That means that they come from this library and they are very important and they are used to control Edison. The next line down is Edison version. Now this is used to tell the compiler if we're using an Edison version one or an Edison version two, because there are differences between the two and Edison version two can use different functions uh, because it has encoders. So therefore it can determine exactly how far it's driving, which means that when we get down to distance units, we can set the distance that Edison drives in either centimeters or inches or time. Now Edison version one can only drive for a set amount of time Edison version 2 can use any of those three. The final line down here is ed.tempo. This tells Edison how fast to play any music that appears lower down in the code, but we'll get to music later on in another video. Uh, so all of these things you can look up in the help text and you can pull them up and work out what you can actually set them to and what each of those things will do as you change them going through. So the next thing we're going to look at is the basic functions for Edison to get the outputs moving and get Edison actually doing things. So we're going to start with the left and right LED. So these have one input to their function, uh, which is going to either be an on or an off. So we just go into here and go ed dot on. That will turn the left LED on. And then we're going to make sure that the right LED is off by turning that off. Whoops, here we go. Just like that. So we've got left LED on, right LED off. So when this program starts, this all setup happens really quickly and then we're going to have left LED turn on, right LED turn off. Both of these things happen really quickly. Then we get down to the drive. Now the drive takes in three inputs, direction, speed and distance. Now there's a whole lot of stuff in the help text about what each of these things do. But very quickly, direction is the direction you want those motors to move. So that's forwards, backwards, turning left, turning right, spinning left, spinning right, that type of thing. Speed is the speed between 1 and 10 that you want Edison to drive at, and distance is how far Edison is going to go. Now this works in conjunction with the distance units to work out exactly how far Edison is going to go. Uh, so in this case, because we're in centimeters, if I type 20 here, we're going to get Edison driving forwards for 20, or we're going to get Edison if I stay forwards, we're going to have Edison driving forwards for 20 centimeters. So we're just going to do that at speed 2. Then the next thing down here is play beep. This will just get Edison to make a tiny beep out of his uh, speaker. And then finally, we have Edison uh, ed.playTune, which we can give a note to and a duration, and Edison will then play that note for that length of time. So there you go. That is the basics of Edison and EdPy. These are the very basic functions that you can use to get Edison moving around and doing things. So I hope you enjoyed that one and we'll see you in the next video.